everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors, and we actually have a very nice drone to share with you today. A very promising drone that should film in 4K, GPS, brushless, just all around a really cool drone. So let's take a quick look inside the box, and then we'll get it in the air and see how it flies. Something that's of extremely high interest right now are drones that are kind of comparable and a little competitive to things like the Spark. You know, really nice high quality selfie sized drone. And that's pretty much what this is. Now, the only things that this would be lacking in comparison to the Spark is the DJI name brand, a camera gimbal, and folding propellers. That's really about the major differences here. Uh, this one flies on your phone, just like the Spark would, but it comes in at about half the price of the Spark. Uh, I do like this case. This is really nice little rugged, hard plastic case with two little holes there you can put a strap through. It opens up and your drone is inside, about the same size as the Spark. This should fly about 300 meters away and it has about a 20 minute flight time with the included battery, which is right here. This is a 2000 milliamp 7.4 volt LiPo battery. That's two cells. And it just slides right in back there and clicks in place. It's not an intelligent battery. Uh, in other words, it just charges and discharges. You'll have the battery information on your screen. And then you'll notice there's a little USB port, a micro USB port on the side of the drone here. That is what you plug a little USB cable into, into your computer to pull the footage and pictures off of your drone onto your PC. It has an internal storage of 16 gigs, which is more than enough to uh, film for about a couple hours on 1080p, a little shorter than that on 4K. This silver name here, the uh, QC Cam 4K that it says there, that is uh, the on off button. So it doubles as a button. And then you have a fixed pitch camera here on the front it is a 13 megapixel camera that shoots in 4K. It has a 90 degree field of view and then with, if you're filming in 1080p, it has image stabilization. Also on the bottom of the drone, you'll notice another camera. This is for visual positioning. If you're flying inside, it's gonna help it hover in place and it even makes it a bit more accurate outside as well. I wanna point out something with these prop guards. Um, I, I was very interested in putting these prop guards on because they just look like they're very easy to install. They should just snap right on. And when I went to install the first one, it just completely broke. It just looks like you uh, put the foot through and then it kind of goes around the motor. Well, there's no instructions. There's no instructions all. on the prop guards. And my plastic snapped and I thought, well, maybe I've pushed it too hard or something. So I said, Abby, will you take a look at it? And she did. And when she put this one on, a similar thing happened. Uh, the bottom of the plastic of the prop guard snapped. It split right there. Okay, I think you can see that yeah. pretty well. It's not supposed to be split there. And so we started doing a little research on this drone. We watched a couple other people's videos to make sure we weren't doing anything wrong. And as it turns out, all the other major videos that we've seen of this don't even address the prop guards at all. So I think what's happening is everybody is actually breaking their prop guards. I want to show you the installation here on camera and you'll probably witness one. one. This is a brand new one. And so I've, I've tried taking the prop off and everything. You put the little footy through there and then you should be able to just kind of wedge that up above the motor. But what's going to happen is it's going to break. So I got that I got that on there, but it actually broke in a different spot here. You can see the crack. Hopefully you can see that. So the point of that being is we are not afraid to address when things don't work. Right. Some people are afraid to, we are not. Right. We're going to fly it without those, but being a selfie drone, you know, if you're doing like hand launching and flying close to you for selfie shots, you kind of want to have those prop guards on there. So I don't think that's a major uh, issue to why I wouldn't buy this, but it doesn't help its cause at all, especially before we haven't even taken off to fly yet. So in the box, we have a bit of paperwork. It just tells you some really quick things, uh, like a little bit of battery information, basic stuff, very easy to read and understand. And all the information just goes right in there. You also have four spare props that are in this little box labeled with propellers, just one of each. And then you have your charging cable and your transfer cable. So you got a little wall adapter to USB and 
this little guy charges the battery. That just plugs right into the back of the battery. And then this cord is to transfer the footage from your drone to your PC. And it also comes with a proper moving tool. So uh, I think we should just get this in the air and see how it flies. We're gonna do a little bit of filming in 4K. We're also gonna do a little bit of filming in 1080p uh, so that it has the image stabilization. So let's see how it flies. Well, we tried to do a compass calibration on this and it is crazy the way you're supposed to do it, but uh, it wanted you to hold the drone and move it around in a figure eight, which was really crazy. Uh, it didn't actually work. We did it for like five or six minutes. So what we're gonna do now is just go ahead and take off, hopefully get some footage filmed for you. And uh, it's really windy, so let me try to get it right in 1080p. Hopefully image stabilization is on. We are now filming. And I'm gonna try an auto takeoff. Yep, that's uh, just got a slide to take off here. Nice and quiet drone. It's very windy and it's moving a lot, so I'm gonna fly away a little bit. The flight mode that I'm in is uh, like I touch the controls rather than joysticks. Now I can change that and I think I will. So I'm gonna go ahead and land and then we'll change the flight controls to another control mode that's a bit more comfortable for me. Okay, I switched the controls over to joysticks rather than touching the screen incrementally and this should feel a bit more natural. Also, you can see it crops in there I'm just gonna go ahead and do an auto takeoff so you guys can see. There's less wind right now too, way less wind. So hopefully this will be a nice, smooth, stable shot for you. I'm gonna fly a little higher because you're just looking at grass. And I'm gonna fly out some now. Very nice, smooth, easy to fly drone. Very easy to fly. Okay, I'm gonna go a bit higher. The camera's angled down some, so I'm gonna angle back around towards me and Abby. The yaw is extremely slow in this mode. That is like full yaw over, and it's just going so slow because I, I think it's just so you can get smooth footage. Very slow, that's crazy. That's, uh, I'm sure I can up the rates, but that's wild. <laughs> well, there's us. I've got a pretty good shot on our on the phone here. Looks nice and smooth. Let's fly away and a bit higher. Nice smooth shot. The, the uh, image stabilization looks really good. Now I just let go of the controls and it's just kind of finding its... Uh, there you go. Okay, good. I want to fly a bit higher. Oh, I see. Nice. <laughs> you I couldn't see. I was looking lower. That. Abby was <laughs> got quiet there because Abby was pointing at something. I couldn't see what she was pointing at, and it was a jet. Okay. Well, so I far, I'm uh, I'm basically yeah. straight yeah. out and up in the cloud. Yeah. So let's just go a little higher and a little farther because I can still see the drone. So everybody always likes to know about how far something can fly away, or, and high and stuff. So we're not going to totally push this limit, but I do want to see because I can still see the drone. I think that's as high as it's letting me go. So yeah, there's an altitude restriction on there, probably 100 meters or so. Do you want to try to fly this back, Abby? See how easy it is to control? Sure. Here, I think you'll like that. I'm not even trying to film it right now. <laughs> okay, that's fine. So the joysticks are the same concept as that Hubson drone we just had on the channel the other day. Like if you touch anywhere on the right side of the screen, that's where the joystick is gonna move to. That's nice. The only issue is this is a Wi-Fi drone, which makes it hard to see anything. Or it's frozen. Here, I don't even know where we are. Just push a bit further away. We'll get it to come back. So we're straight out. You can see it coming in does at a pretty good speed. Does the camera angle move? It does not. No, it's fixed oh, pitch. Wow. So you see right there. Now stuff's coming into view. Yeah. And we're getting a little bit of Wi-Fi interference. A lot. 
And it's still going forward even though you let off the forward oh, like wow. five minutes ago. That's crazy. It's not stopping. Stop drone, stop. It's not stopping. Well, that's not good. Oh my gosh. Hmm. Wow. And Did now, it I'm finally holding, stop? now I'm holding to, it to go backwards and now it's coming down. Wow, it's returned to home because it got disconnected from the transmitter. That's why it did that. Oh That's why I did that. So the distance that we were was far enough to lose the signal. Is it connected again? Not sure. Oh my gosh. It's fine. It's just doing an auto land here. I can film again. See, it flew back within a few feet of where it took off. So it did a good job, but it disconnected. Now the app crashed, so I don't know if any of that saved at all. Wow. During that flight, we went pretty far out as high as it would let us go, and it lost connection. When I was passing the controller over to Abby, which is her phone, um, it was completely lost on the connection, so it realized that after a minute or so and flew back and returned to home on its own. It did a great job at doing that, but it's a little disappointing that it lost the connection. I wish it would have just kind of come back a bit and then reestablished the connection, but it didn't do that. In fact, the app crashed after it landed. So, so we'll have to wait till we get home to see if anything saved. As of right now, for us in person, we don't know if that footage saved. Obviously, you guys have already figured that out. I'm gonna try this again, though. We're gonna do another image stabilization shot. I'm gonna film. We're gonna fly around a little closer and test a few of the features out. Already, though, so far, this isn't even really worth $50. So let's get it back in the air and see if we can get a little redemption out of this drone. We're filming, I'm gonna go ahead and do a takeoff. The auto takeoff does work well. Okay, it's drifting a little on its own. There, we're back. We have a little breeze. It's actually drifting a good bit on its own. I'm gonna go ahead and fly up some to avoid the building and stuff. And I'll fly out. This time I'm not gonna fly as far away and hopefully we can just get a little bit of good footage. So I'll point back around towards us. It takes a long time to do any yaw on here. Very long time. I'm pushing over as far as it'll go and it's just really slow. Are there like rates? Yeah, I think so. We have um, scenery mode and portrait mode. Right now, or like landscape I think is what it is. Right now we're in landscape mode. We can go to portrait mode, or like a selfie mode, and I think it it uh, flies with the controls reversed. So now the camera's facing me, and when I push away, the drone goes away, even though it's facing me. It's kind of like headless mode, but it's really just a, sel a selfie mode. So the controls are reversed, which is a really interesting feature. I do kind of like that. Do me a favor and stop the fil filming so something mm -hmm. maybe saves. Okay. And yep. I just start it back up. Well now, the, I'm going to take a picture here because I want people to see the exact distance that we just, I haven't moved the drone at all, I'm going to take a picture. It's counting down. And there's the picture. Now I'm going to go back to video mode in 1080p, and when I hit video, you can see how much it actually crops in because of the image stabilization. Okay, so I wanted people to be able to see that. I'm going to have to fly up some just to get us into frame because it really crops in a lot for the image stabilization. Let's see if we can test a couple other features before we completely lose our battery. Why don't you take it off the image, image stabilization and do... 4K? Or, or just 1080p regular without image stabilization. Okay, let's do... Let's try this. Uh, I'll switch the settings. We'll go down to resolution. It, it's automatic, so I have to go right into 4K to turn um, the image stabilization off. Oh, wow. Okay, so it's automatic on 720p and 1080. So here we go in video. Now we're actually filming in 4K, and this is the drone without digital image stabilization. So the footage that you can see, I'm showing Abby here too. That's it's a little weird, rocky. But it's way better to fly and see stuff. Yeah, you can actually see where we're going. Now I still have it in that selfie mode, so when I push away, it's the drone is actually flying away. So I'm going to put it back in I landscape. Like that it has that though. I do too, but for me, I'm used to flying in a more natural way, so I put it back over into landscape mode. Now we can also turn the GPS off and just fly in uh, altitude hold mode, but I'm not going to do that because I feel like the wind could take this away pretty easily today. 
We have return to home. Which kind of already has been tested with a signal yeah. loss. An auto land, we can land anywhere. And really just a lot of options for... Is there circle me or anything like that? Not that I can see. It's telling us all of our Wi-Fi signal strength up top. I have video and picture mode. Uh, safety tips. What about the gear? The gear is just options for how I'm controlling it. It also tells me my range. Ah, okay, I can set the max range here. Oh, cool. Yeah. So you could fly it farther, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> I think I'm going to stop filming in 4K. And let's just jump right into... Let's do a little 720p while we're at it. You know what? Let's go back to 1080. And I'm going to turn on beauty. What Whatever that is. I don't know, but we just turned it on. <laughs> and defogging. I'll turn that on too. What? So beauty and defogging in 1080p. <laughs> beauty and defogging. I don't know what it is, but we're in it. And I don't think the rates can be adjusted, to be honest. I didn't see anywhere that they could be. This is very odd. It's just run. different modes of flying. Yeah. Not rates. You think it'd have Super like a sport smooth one up there. like the Spark does. So right now we're in image stabilized stabilized 1080p. Yeah. <laughs> Tried to help you out. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, let's just fly around a little more because I'm just being too stationary. It's a very slow flying drone, and I don't think the rates can really be adjusted unless we just turn off GPS mode. Let me see this. Let okay. Me fly this. Okay. Passing the because controls I feel to Abby. Like this has to have circle me or something. It does not. <laughs> the selfie me is a smiley face. Right. It's in normal flying mode now, so it's not the selfie mode. Pretty good flight time. I'll give it that. Good battery life. What do you think? It has these little bars, but when I click on them, nothing happens. Uh, that's your camera settings. Yeah. And the reason nothing's happening is because it's filming. So it doesn't let you change the camera settings while it's filming. Man, this is the slowest y'all I've ever seen. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Oh my God. I think if you turn GPS off, your rates will go up. So you see the little option at the top? But I was oh, kind I of afraid to. Off. Yeah. I, mean, I can, but do I want to? Exactly. The yaw is so slow, like, yeah. you just can't fly this like a normal no. collector, you just can't. It's kind of designed to get a nice, close, local shot of something. I think that's about it. And then when you fly forward, it tilts so far, you can't see where you're Yeah. Oh boy. Now don't get too far away again and lose the signal. Because I lost you on the camera. I can see you line of sight, but this lens isn't powerful enough to get you. This is so slow. Actually, I see you there. Little dot. Little tiny dot. Like I have not done a full circle yet. It is slow. Oh my gosh. There. Now we're finally back to facing us. Mm -hmm. But when I tilt forward to come back, I can't see us. Now you could fly slower just by not tilting, by pushing as far. I think this drone is probably worth around maybe like $150 to $200 at best if everything was working properly, but there's just a few things that need a little more fine tuning on it, and I don't know that it's totally worth the money. Hopefully other reviews are not saying that it is. Abby's just focused on the controls there, guys. I just can't I'm not believe totally it doesn't sure. have anything else. That's it, yeah. I feel like that's it. There should be. But there's not. Guys, we just featured a GPS drone with brushed motors on the channel that flies from your phone a few days ago by Hubson. And it comes in at like $90 and does have circle me. <gasps> oh, there it's. Oh my God. What'd you hit? What'd you I hit? I didn't hit anything. It just fell out of the sky. The app crashed. The app crashed? There was something on the screen, but the app crashed. Wow. Okay, hold on. Let me go grab it. What about the fuselage? That was all okay. I was able to read. So that just completely fell out of the sky with there no was, rhyme or reason. There's no reason for that. For the sake of this camera, I'm going to leave the beauty and defogging mode on again. And I'm going to film so people can maybe see that. Ooh, it's got a black line through it. Oh, jeez. Let's try to do an auto takeoff here. 
Is the camera messed up or I is that so. the Wi-Fi thing? I think the camera got a little messed Rather. up. Yeah, well, it still flies even after that crash. It flies, but the, either the signal is messed yeah, up or the camera is messed up. I, I'll bet they're seeing that black line too. I wonder. Well, I'm gonna stop, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna save the footage and just do an auto land. There, now, now when I stop filming, it's... Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Well, we so now we have, it. he stopped filming and full screen came back. Yeah, I wanna try it again. So now he hit filming oh. and half the screen disappeared. Take a screenshot of that. Okay. So they know what we're talking about. There we go. That's what we're seeing on yeah. our screen. When we hit record, half the image disappears. Poor drone. This is junk. Junk. I want to do an auto land and Abby's right. I don't even think I need to jump in front of the camera again. Just don't buy this. There's just no need to buy this. Fell out of the sky. I really completely. hope no one else has told you guys to buy this because this is terrible. Obviously a pass. Hopefully you guys save a lot of money by not buying that's this $320. one. $320. Yeah. I'm uh, turning it off. Crazy. Also, the only light that's on it is that tiny little green light on the bottom there. Can you even see that? That's the only indicator to tell you the drone is on. So I've got it turned off now. Pass. That's Don't buy it. Save your pass. money. Throughout this video, we'll have cards on this, that pop up in the top right hand corner of drones we do recommend, but we will have those linked in the description box below if you so want, for whatever reason, still want to check it out. That's one of the biggest disappointments of this year, I think. That is. I had way higher hopes. I was really excited for I that I thought, one. you know, this is going to be a fun new selfie drone, but no. Nope. No, not at all. All right. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Hopefully with a better drone. Yeah. Bye!